Hey everyone, I'm Brandon Frazen, Director of Vintage here at Bob's Watches. Welcome to another episode of Vintage of the Week. For this episode of Vintage of the Week, we have a beautiful Omega Speedmaster Professional reference 145.012-67, which is powered by the legendary caliber 321 movement and represents one of the most compelling options for vintage Speedmaster collectors currently available. But first, before we go any further, let's do a quick wrist check. Today I'm sticking with the vintage Omega theme and wearing a funky vintage chronostop from the late 1960s. Be sure to let us know what you're wearing and share your wrist check in the comments below. Now back to this week's watch. The Omega Speedmaster is arguably the single most important chronograph of all time. Originally launched in 1957 as part of Omega's trio of purpose-built professional watches, the Speedmaster has remained a constant presence in the brand's catalog ever since. It holds the distinction of being the first chronograph with a tachometer scale on its external bezel rather than being printed on the dial. This design was ultimately adopted by countless other watches, including the Rolex Daytona, but this highly practical design first originated with the Omega Speedmaster. As for the reference 145.012, this model was only produced for a few short years during the late 1960s from approximately 1967 to 69, and it was the last vintage Speedy to use the legendary 321 movement. Part of why the caliber 321 is so important to collectors is because it was the original movement used for the Speedmaster and was in the watch that became flight qualified for NASA. In fact, the 321 is so important to Omega's legacy that the brand even revived it and uses it to power some of the most premium Speedmaster models in its current catalog. While the reference 145.012 features the same asymmetric case with twisted lugs that largely resembles the modern Speedmasters, it still features a number of decidedly vintage design elements such as its dot over 90 bezel, step dial with tritium loom, and applied logo. Omega brought a lot of these style elements back to the standard Speedmaster Professional, but there is nothing like the original. As for this particular watch, it's a 145.012-67 circa 1968, which is the year right before the Speedmaster first made it to the moon. Collectors would refer to these as pre-moon Speedmasters. The watch remains in overall great honest condition with a strong case that shows some wear and scratches. It even has retained its correct 24 tooth winding crown with flat feet. The Speedy comes directly from the original family and it was clearly taken care of and loved over the years. The original dot over 90 bezel, which can often be missing on surviving examples of the reference 145.012, is not only still here, but it's in overall great condition with some wear, which is pretty normal for a watch that's over 50 years old. Another nice detail these older Speedmasters have is the teardrop shaped counterweight on the end of the seconds hand. It's the small details that really gets me excited about vintage watches, and when looking closely, these Speedies are full of them. The dial has remained in great condition and is pretty clean and dark black throughout, with a pronounced step and those long arrow markers that have aged so nicely to a beige sandy color. The loom in the hands has darkened a bit, which is pretty common for vintage speedies. This watch has an overall great look. I paired this on a tan strap to match the loom color to really bring it out. The Speedmaster is one of the most iconic watches of all time and to me can have a place in anyone's collection. In my humble opinion, it's the Omega to have in your collection. And like the Submariner, it's just so classic, it's perfect for nearly any occasion. This 145.012 checks a lot of boxes if you're looking for a watch with a lot of character. As always, like every watch on Vintage of the Week, this exact one will be available for purchase directly on our website, so go check it out on bobswatches.com vintage. And don't forget to check back next time to see what standout vintage watch we'll be featuring then. Bye!